Hello and welcome to Tights TV, Neil here and I've got Dave on. Dave, it's been a while, I know we work and everything like that, but it's great to have you on, mate. Thanks for having me on, it's, it's good to be back on, yeah, work's been hectic, it's um, trying to get time to get on, but uh, we finally got around to it eventually. We finally got around to it. Uh, yeah. Quite a bit's happened, I mean, we went through a, blip, a bit of a blip, uh, FA Cup and stuff like that, but we'll, I'm just going to like get on about Peter game. Our impressed way with Peter game, how we applied it since to one of them, Teams who were up there and amongst it, and you know, seen to score goals for fun. I thought we we held his own pretty well. Yeah, it was a it was a great result. It was a good performance as well. Um, mm. Came flying out the traps, didn't we? And got the early goal. Um, I think once we hit the twenty minute mark, we seemed to sit back a little bit and let them back into the game. But you know, they got the equaliser, and um, they could have gone anyway after. After the break, but we came out again, better team, and I don't think there were any trouble in the second half, did they? They didn't really have any effort on goal. You know, we controlled the game um, very, very comfortable in the end. But um, we always do better against the teams that play good football, mm. let you play football. So I think that worked for us overall, and yeah, brilliant result, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I mean, for me, I was pleased to see such as like Luca Connell. Herbie Kane started it every few games. Adam Phillips knocking in with goals. Jordan Williams. So there's a, a fair few positives coming back into it. And we're not even on, getting on about Matty Wolf. Uh, Benson was been on bench, being kept out. Luke Thomas come back. So it seems to be a bit of uh, a competition in certain areas. That, you know, I want to play and they, they seem to be taking back on board, mate. Healthy competition, isn't it? Mm. You know, the quote to Knowing Fools and Authors episode, it's... You know, you've got players fighting for, for spots in the team and that's good. You know, it's just going to benefit, you know, Barnsley as a whole. Mm. Um, obviously, the players are going to train extra hard. They're going to show the manager what they can do to get click for games on Saturdays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, whatever. And yeah, it's uh, looking all positive going forward at the moment. Mm. Um, there were some fantastic performances on, on Friday night. Uh, Connell did play well, yeah. Um, well, Phillips has... He had a um, couple of quiet games when he first... When he first started, um, I think he played well in the Doncaster game and the mm. in the Peaks Rut Cup or whatever it was. But um, he had a couple of quiet games after. But he's he's come onto his own now, like, and he just you know he's the, the player looking for to get on the score sheet every game at the minute. And you know he's all over the pitch. And uh, you know another brilliant performance on Friday. You know he chipped him in the goal. It was I don't think uh, the Peterborough goalkeeper would be very happy with himself for that. But um, how many times have we seen you know our keepers do exactly the same? Yeah. You know it, it happens, and I'm sure he'll pick himself up from it. But yeah, it's it's great to see him scoring regularly. It's great to see him putting in good performances. It's good to see the team benefiting as a well whole from it. Yeah, I mean it, even at back as well. But for me, I think we look a lot more uh, secure, a lot more solid. Anderson seems to be coming into his own now. Liam Kitchen and Tom Edwards, uh, another another solid solid player at back. So again. I think from you know from back to front, I've, for me, I still like to think come January we still need a, a bit of recruitment in that area. But in certain areas, I think we we more than got a zone in but in competition in there. And you know, we not even Josh Martin, he's not even been getting looking and he scored a couple of goals in uh, Pete's Trophy, Donny, and then again another player that's like in and out, in and out. But then again, would you want to change your winning side or winning formula? Now it seems to have come across it, you won't. You don't want to upset it too much, would you, by any injuries? No, I don't think. Um, I've always said a manager shouldn't change his team unless you know he's forced to change it. Um, you know, keep a winning side together. The more they play together, the more they get get to know each other. You know, better on the pitch, and the more they know. We, and it just it's flows more fluent. It's you know, it's obviously the more you work with someone, you know, the better acquainted you get, and the better you work as a team. And um, that, the, the defence is looking pretty good. You know, I don't want to jinx anything now, but it's been much better for me since Jordan Williams came back from injury. I know a lot of people get on at him, you know, and say that, you know, he's he's all right going forward, but he can't defend. I don't think that's true. He, he gets up the pitch, he gets back. I mean, yeah. when you've got defenders that like to push, push up, up on the wings and get forward, and then they lose possession or they give it to somebody else who loses possession, and they just sort of trot back Jordan Williams. He's always bombing up and down the pitch you know with the ball or trying to get it back afterwards 
you know, and for, for me, he's um, he's vital in the in the defence. As is Anderson, I think Anderson's had a fantastic season. Mm. He puts in a great performance week in week out. Edwards has been good since he's arrived. You know, he's a bit of experience in there. He's um, his throws are a, an extra weapon when you you know down near the other penalty area. He's um, he looks assured on the ball. He looks good getting back to to mop up things. Kitchen. <sighs> He still worries me. It's not his football ability; it's his 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 recklessness. Mm-hmm. You know, he's got that fiery temper, and sometimes when he, he likes to get forward, and some of his runs are, you know, they, they're great. You know, and yeah. occasionally he puts some good passes in, some he puts some wayward passes in, but he gets annoyed with himself, like I do. You know, if I do something that I know is wrong, I get annoyed with myself, but I don't take it out on people around me, which is obviously. What he's going to do on a football pitch, and I think when he, you know, has a bit of a moment like that, he gets into a bit of a a tiz with himself, and he he takes that on the nearest player, the nearest player, which is um, it's never going to be good, is it? And hmm. he, he just he just worries me when he he gets into those mad moments. But um, you know, he's had a he had a decent performance on Friday night, uh, and Cadden as well. I mean, P- Peter Brad some sharp players going down the wings, and you know, he pretty much dealt with them, and. Yeah, it's it's looking like a team that you could actually pick before they're announced. You know, on a on a Saturday, two o'clock, we normally wait for the team to be announced. But I think now you can pretty much put down what your team would be. You know, mm-hmm. barring injuries. Going into Oxford game, I mean, obviously we want to keep his momentum going. Oxford have drawn quite a few. We've won his last four in, in league. Who would you say be? A big key for us coming into Oxford game because uh, for me Oxford is one of them kind of places you go to. It's a bit the kind of unknown. It's like what kind of performance they're going to put in. What are we going to put in? Uh, so for me, who would be the the main man? It'd be standing out. Would be important for us on going to Oxford away. Um. I think Phillips, to me, I think he's the, the player I'd look to because mm. I think he's a... He, he he's a bit like a like ghost for me. He just like arrives here in, 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 in right area, doesn't he? Yeah, it? he's... <laughs> he, he doesn't sort of like sit in any particular place. He play deep, plays deep. He gets, you know, gets forward. Mm. He gets onto the onto the right, you know, and he's, he's he always seems to be there no matter where the ball is. He always yeah. seems to be there. That, you know, that's important. And um, I think he's he's been brilliant in the midfield. He's been absolutely... You know, he's just he's just changed the games for us. Obviously, the goals have done that, but he's mm. he's, he's putting good performances. He looks up for it now. Was it the what was the game? I think I can't remember which game it was now. It might have been uh, was it Morecambe away? Was that the one we lost? Morecambe away. Mm. And um, he start. I think it was his first game. He started at front, and he just compl- looked completely lost. Yeah, looked completely yeah. lost. And since then, he's dropped back a little bit, and he looks. A much much more comfortable player, mm. and um, yeah, if, I think he's going to be vital to you know win the ball back when we lose it, um, set things going, and um, again Jordan Williams and Mads Anderson in defence to you know to keep things tight there, and um, yeah, hopefully get the ball up to Cole and see what he can do. He's due a, another goal, I think. It's been a couple of games, but um, mm. again he had a decent performance on Friday, but I just got I just thought he got sort of like stranded a little bit he seems to be up on his own a lot mm. of the time on the going out to the left and there's no one following him um cadden wasn't getting down the down the left like jordan williams gets down the the right to to, to assist but um yeah i think um I think you could you could pick anybody in that team at the moment to, they all look capable of putting a good performance they all look like they want to put in a good performance which is the important thing they all mm. like they want to be playing so any of those for me had uh, a pivotal in that game. Yeah, I mean, for me, I think players that I'd be looking at is such like Luca Connell, Adam Phillips, like I said, Williams and Anderson. And in the last couple of weeks, I think either either any of them players have been up there or there about some man of the match kind of thing. So that's how good a uh, player they've been and made a difference. And I think credit to such as Duff, Patterson and Devaney because we went through that bit of a blip. Instead, I think we're fourth in league, and I know that goals have been coming from other areas, which has been a bonus, really, from midfield. And you know, like I said, Jordan Williams and that, 
But I think considering we're still we're lacking that a striker or two up front to help Devante call that. I think credit's got to be given to Duff and what he's actually worked with and where he's got us in the league. Uh, I mean, you look at teams around us, Dave. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was going to take a bit of time for the side to gel and, you know, obviously there was injuries. You know, Thomas got injured when he was, you know, he mm. was probably the best player of the team at the time and a massive loss both... Um, on the pitch and psychologically as well, you know, and I think that shows the performances. But now we've got that sort of like consistency where players have come back from injury, Williams, and the team's been more or less the same for the last few games. And it just looks like he's got a team that sort of plays well together. They sort of they seem to have gelled. Of the of the teams he's put out over his um, over his time there, I think this is the one. Barring maybe the one that started off the season, you know, when we had the, the good result at Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, I forget the other games around there, but that was a that was a good looking team. We looked confident. Mm. And obviously we went through that sticky patch then after we lost Thomas and you know it looked a bit a bit lost, but then pick yourself up again. But it's what happens in football. And you say we're up there, we're fourth, you know, it's just all you can ask him to do is keep at it. But yeah, we need we definitely need another front man. And um, watching the World Cup, you know, Kiefer Moore, he's not the world's greatest striker, mm. but the way he holds that ball up and waits for other players to catch up with play, that's, that's the sort of player we need. You know, a big man that can hold on to the ball and just wait for people because um, that's what we're lacking. Cole, you know, he, he's not got the strength to hold off, you know, big defenders. We need a big a big sort of like, I can't think of the word now, um, just a big front man really that we big can hit, hit the ball, to, get the ball up to. And you know, hold it off uh, and wait for the cavalry to arrive. Going into Oxford game, like we said, we, we won't really change out. Uh, Barring any injuries, I'd, I'd keep more or less same side. To be fair, why, why, like you said, why, why Brexit we took, but it's already working. Uh, I'm going to be a bit of an hard on this side, but school prediction. What you know, what you're going for on this one? Um, ooh, I'm going to go for a two 0 away win. Hmm. I I want to go two one. I think there's a possibility of a draw when when you look at. I think Oxford have been like one drawn, drawn, one, one drawn, drawn. But what I think is on our side at the minute is that we've got that belief and that confidence. One of the last four, we can move on. Especially if we start like we do, you know, in previous away games that we've done most notably with Peter. But again, we're we're up and at it. Yeah, fair enough. They're going to come on to us, but it's a matter of. Can we soak it up? Can we like still play out and stick to our game plan? Uh so I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go two one. I think Luke O'Connell, probably in midfield. Um, um, for me as well, Herbie Kane, because he was on loan at Oxford last season. If he starts, is he gonna be wanting to prove you know something yeah. else for him? So he's, that's gonna be an interesting one, isn't it? You know, he had a he had a good time there, Lindsay cut it short, and he's obviously gonna wanna, you know, show him that he's He's back mm. up and raring to go, and I th yeah, I think he's going to put in. A, but he's put in a good performance over the last couple of games anyway. So yeah, if he puts true. in that extra effort this Saturday, then even better for us. Even better for us. Uh, Dave, as always, it's been a pleasure to catch up with you. I know we're working back, but we finally got there. Uh, people what's watching, please like, subscribe and share. Let, let us know your comments as well. What, what score prediction will be? Would you keep the same team? I think we more or less agree that we would do. Uh, is it going to be a bouncy away win, another away win? Uh, I think in a way, wins, uh, we seem to be like more like expecting like now with what we've done pretty recently. One but, of the best records in the league at the moment. Isn't it? And, you know, ride on Crested Wave and keep on riding it. That's Absolutely. the best way to do it, isn't it? Um, yeah, Dave, as always, been a pleasure. Uh, Thanks very much. Get you back on soon. Work and juggle all stuff about. But, yeah, it's been great, mate. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>